Hey guys, what's up? My name is Dee and welcome back to a new Costco Canada shop with me. Today's video is sponsored by Cafe William. I'll share more about their coffee later on in this video. Now with that being said, let's see what's available at Costco this month. Let's start this one off with a garden center update. There's more flower plants available in the garden center, but there aren't as many fruits and vegetables yet. So if you're looking for some annuals, there's many options for you to choose from. They do have signs, no mixing, so you gotta commit to the amount that come in that pack. The prices are really good. And I have to say that the quality on the flowers I've purchased at Costco, the flowers that I'm going to plant and the ones that I'm putting in a vase at home, they're always great quality. They tend to last much longer and the price again is really good. So you can even get some spring perennials right now. Just walk through and see what's available. Make sure you get enough. Hostas are very popular. They're always one of the first to go at the garden center. So if you were planning to get some new hostas this year, check out if it's available near you. There's also other spring perennials. Last week I shared the opening week of the garden center this year and there's so much more to come. I'll be making updates throughout the weeks and the couple months that it's open for and I'll keep you posted on all the must buys throughout this video as well. There were some really amazing finds I found on my shop including this braided willow plant that is $49.99. I found this inside of the store. They're actually really large. I love that they come in an 11 inch pot. I think this is a great price for a pot plus the plant. Next up, I did see some cherry tomato plants in the warehouse. These are not looking so good though. They're $12.99 and they're gonna be leaving the warehouse soon. So stay tuned for fresher tomatoes to roll in. Heading to the produce department, I found some bell peppers that are on sale, so if you're a fan, these are now $7.99. Next up, I found a mango sorbet popsicle in the warehouse. There's 12 that come in the box, and I think this would be a great option to cool down in the summer. Costco doesn't carry mango sorbet very often, so when you see it, it's a good time to consider getting it. Again, that's $14.99. There are also some promotions going on right now that I wanted to share with you, like you can get this oatmeal on sale for $9.49. Also, Clubhouse has steak seasoning on sale for $6.99. Clubhouse has really great seasoning options in Costco. Just head to the seasoning aisle and you'll be able to find the different ones that you're probably looking for. Recently, I bought these Sweet Bites. I told you it tastes like the crispy part of a funnel cake. These are on sale now for $7.99. Chosen Foods Mayo with avocado oil is also on sale right now. The sale ends on the 5th and right now it's $8.99. Rayo's marinara sauce is also on sale until the 5th as well. So if you were looking to stock up on Rayo's, now would be a good time. The price for this is $11.99. I also wanted to share that the bassa fish that we buy often, which I won't be buying anymore, this is on sale, so this does not happen often. Take advantage of that deal while it's available. I also wanna share that the wild organic blueberries that my family loves is on sale, and this is $10.99 for the huge bag. These blueberries are so good, and if you're looking for ice cream, treats, there's also sales on things like that in the freezer section. I'd love for you to leave a comment and let me know what's on your grocery list this week. On my list this week is coffee, and I cannot wait to start making my own coffee again at home. In previous videos, I shared I wanted to move away from K-Cups, and I kinda wanted to make the switch to ground coffee. If you're a coffee lover like me, you know every day starts with a cup of coffee, and good beans make great coffee. Today I'm partnering with Cafe William to share more about their Colombian coffee beans which are limited edition and shipped by sailboat from South America to North America and roasted in Quebec. 
A couple months ago, I tried Cafe William coffee at the sample table and I knew I had to grab a couple bags because this coffee is so good. It's a medium roast and I love Colombian coffee. You can find a bag of Cafe William near the freezer section in the coffee aisle. Just go ahead and locate the package with a sailboat on it and you'll know you found Cafe William. Their coffee beans are 100% organic and fair trade sourced at the NIE Corporation in Colombia and transported again by the force of the wind for minimal environmental impact. Even their packaging is eco-friendly and made from 30% recycled materials. It also has the little seal at the top so once you ground the coffee you can use the same package to store your fresh grounds. I honestly think it's really impressive that this is Cafe William's first coffee shipped by Sail Cargo. Fellow coffee lovers can appreciate that Cafe William is acting beyond the cup and they're on a mission to produce the most sustainable coffee in the world with the first clean ship coffee in Canada. The price for this is $19.99 for 800 grams. After having several cups of Cafe William coffee, it definitely gives a thumbs up for me. I highly recommend it. And I'm going to leave a list down below of some Ontario locations that are carrying Cafe William's limited edition beans. Thanks again, Cafe William, for sponsoring today's video. Towards the end of this one, I'll share how to grind your coffee beans at Costco. Next up on my grocery list this week is a new coffee machine, so I'm considering getting this one. Stay tuned for Sunday's haul. Right now, I'm taking you behind the scenes as I shop for the perfect option for me. Ninja has this pods and grounds single serve option that I think would be a great fit. It includes everything you need with it and it's $129.99. You can make different kinds of coffee with that one. They also have the dual brew extra large option. So this is if you're going to be making multiple cups every single day. It's $169.99 and definitely going to take up a little bit more counter space. We have such limited counter space at home whenever I'm shopping for new appliances. I first have to think, do I have space for it? Because if I don't, there's literally no reason to get anything extra. And honestly, sometimes we all get into that habit of just dropping things off on our countertops and never clearing it away for a couple days. I can't be the only one who does that, so leave a comment and let me know if you're in the same boat as me. I feel like it's a struggle boat, but it's gonna get better with a little bit more effort and definitely being intentional. This pack of 12 cups is available at Costco. They're great for the summer because they're colorful and pretty much each one has a different color. They're $29.99 and I think they're not going to break very easily, so it's something to consider. I also found a few varieties, a few tinsels in the warehouse. This is a 20-piece set for $29.99, so if you don't eat a lot, you just need enough to get started. And you probably are going to serve four people at a time. That would be a great option. Another option is this pack of 40. It's $79.99, so this would be good for larger families. Or you can keep the extras as backup because if your house is like mine, forks and spoons always go missing. I'm almost convinced my dishwasher is eating them, but I'm sure my kids are the ones just throwing them out by accident. I also found a three-piece set of cutting boards. These were also featured in the Costco magazine for April. They're available now in Warehouse at $19.99. Last week I mentioned that batteries were on sale so this week I just wanted to show you the price for the double A as those were completely sold out the last time I was shopping. So the double A is now $19.99. If you're doing any home renovation projects and you're doing new flooring this Luxuria option is on sale for $34.99. Flooring gets really expensive. We used a few boxes of the gray color to refresh our entryway floors. And we picked up a few boxes of the stackable shoe rack to store our shoes at the entryway as well. And now it almost looks like a new space. By the way, Michelin windshield wipers are on sale, so check the size options that you need and pick it up before that sale ends. Speaking of sales, there were so many manager markdowns on my shop today, including these LOL lounge pans. They're the ones with the pleat though, so I wasn't interested in getting them, but the price is really good. It's $12.97 for a pack of two, and they're super, super comfortable. Also, the Eddie Bauer hiking shoes are marked down, so if you're planning to get them, get them before they're gone. It's $29.97 now. 
That's actually a better price than I paid when they went on sale initially. Also, the Fila slides are marked down right now. The price is very good for this. $9.97 will get you some Fila slides. You can wear them as house slippers or wear them for poolside. I also found a markdown on these Eddie Bauer sandals for boys and girls. $9.97 for kids shoes. I wish my kids would fit shoes like that still. This two pack of Puma bras is $6.97 for two sports bras. Hillary Radley ankle sort of capri pants are also on sale this week. There's quite a few different color options to choose from and if you work in office, I think that these would be great for the office this summer. You can still be super cute but professional. There's so many different color options to choose from and these capris are only $12.99. I also found Adidas mesh leggings in Warehouse. There's black and there's also gray. There's so many size options to choose from. These are very popular at Costco and the price for these are $22.99. If you're shopping for new pajamas, Costco has a few options for women right now that are new to the warehouse. This is a three-piece set. You're getting the robe, the tank, and the pant. So they have a few different print options and this is $22.99. There's also this bedhead two-piece set that comes in a couple color options. There's quite a few sizes left and this is marked down to $14.97. I think that's a great deal for pajamas for women. I also found new LOL skorts. They come in this navy blue color. I believe they also come in black. There's also this coral color and the white. I love that underneath it has like really nice fitting shorts and it also comes with pockets. That's definitely a win. It's $18.99. Next up, the Peckle pajamas that I also had on my grocery list today are on a markdown, but they don't have many options available. So if you bought this recently, make sure you go in and get your price adjustment. They're now $12.97 for a four piece set of pajamas. With all the rain we've been getting lately, there's also a Paradox rain suit for kids on a markdown for $19.97. There's a few color options to choose from. Right now at Costco, it's polo season in the clothing department. There's polos for kids. These are by the brand Adidas. It's a two pack set and I like that you get a polo and a t-shirt for $24.99. I also found a two piece Puma set for kids. This is a great buy for cottage life. You definitely wanna stay warm, but you don't wanna to be too hot on those summer days. This is the perfect in between and they're also gonna be great for spring weather or to wear to school. The two-piece set is $14.99. The sale for this ends on the 21st. Next up, I found some Disney set for kids. This Bambi set is so adorable. When my kids were little, this is definitely something that I would get for them. The price is pretty good for four pieces and they have Minnie Mouse as well. They also have Winnie the Pooh. I love Winnie the Pooh. And they have Mickey, so they have quite a few options. I love that the colors are so toned down it's not so much bright and in your face and so this four piece set is $16.99 Andy and Evan also has their three piece set for the summer in the warehouse they have some options for girls and they also have some options for boys all the colors are very nice super pastel super happy super bright and super simple I love that for kids and I love that the three pieces is also $19.99 I also found some Levi's shorts for girls and boys. The girls option is a denim and a twill set. I love that. And the boys option is also denim and twill. And they also have some pull on options. So whatever kind of shorts you're looking for, these feel so incredibly soft. I got to bring my kids back to see which sets they're going to pick because they're officially at that stage where they have to pick out their own clothes. I also really like this zip up jacket. It's super lightweight and I think that would be perfect for some spring runs. I've been training for a half marathon. It's happening in May and I'm starting to get to the point where I'm planning what I'm going to wear because I have no idea what the weather is going to be like in May. If you're enjoying this tour through the clothing department at Costco, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and I'd love for you to subscribe if you're new here every single week. I take you in the warehouse, I share all the latest products, I share the must buys, I share my product recommendations, and sometimes I partner with brands I truly love and that's exactly what I did in today's video. So if you're enjoying this shop, again, give it a thumbs up. It really helps out my channel and helps YouTube recommend my videos to more Costco shoppers. 
and you're gonna help others save money just like you do. I know you're making your grocery list as you watch this video. Sometimes I double back and I make another grocery list because there's something that I completely forgot that I saw that I wanted to add to my list. Of course, I had to share some polo options for men as well. I found quite a few brands. There's Nautica, there's Gap, and there's a few others. It's a really great time to stock up on shorts and polos and clothes in general at Costco. So we're just about to wrap up this shop, but before I go, I wanted to teach you how you can grind your coffee beans at Costco. I purchased two bags of Cafe William coffee beans at $19.99. I'm headed to checkout. After you pay for your coffee beans, just walk over to the food court area and you'll find the coffee grinder there. Make sure that you're only using whole coffee beans and you're not trying to ground already grounded beans. When you open up the package of Cafe William coffee beans, that's what it'll look like. I'm just gonna adjust the setting to get the right ground size for what I'm gonna be using this for at home. And then I'm just gonna make sure that the machine is on. At the top, I'm gonna pour the beans in and I'm gonna use that same bag to collect the grounds afterwards. It's super simple and easy once you press that on button and you pull the lever down. It shakes and you'll notice that all the coffee grounds are just pouring into the bag and the smell is next level amazing. I would just stay here for most of the day because I love the smell of coffee so much. I hope this step-by-step -step walkthrough of how to ground your coffee beans at Costco was helpful for you. If you were ever hesitant to try Cafe William because you didn't have a grinder, now you know what to do. Now that I've got my bags of coffee, I'm headed home to share my haul. And also to do my Sunday reset, I'll be prepping some breakfast essentials for the week. I'll see you on Sunday.